Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Chaitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sagana Lalita Shri Visha Kandidam In India, there is a tradition that when a person takes sannyas, he is committing official social suicide. In old times, the sannyasi would go outside of his village, he would draw a line, he would step over the line and never again re-step over the line, return back to his village. He was done with worldly life. Since that tradition is based in Vedic scripture, uh, we also accept the uh, social uh, order which is called Varnashram Dharma. Varna means occupation, ashram means place of spiritual cultivation. Four ashrams are brahmachari, celibate student, grihastha, person who is practicing spiritual life within the family, vanaprastha, renouncing uh, all family duties and preparing oneself for the last one which is sannyas. And sannyas is the final stage of life where one uh, develops and organizes their life in such a way that they disassociate themselves from any material activities and engage in the work of spreading Krishna consciousness. The sannyas vow is the ultimate vow that requires like everything, everything. Everything ultimately has to be offered to that vow. In the sannyas initiation, one receives a staff, a kind of ceremonial staff, ritual staff, you might say, which points to something of the archaic side of our tradition. And this staff has four bamboo uh, rods wrapped in cloth. Three of these bamboo staffs, bamboo rods, represent body, mind, and words. The fourth represents the jiva, uh, the living entity, the self, which is making this dedication to use everything, body, mind, and words, in the service of the Lord, in the service of Krishna. And incidentally, this uh, staff also has uh, a small curved stick near the top. It is the axe which is meant to use for cutting through illusion. Krishna Kirtana Bhanana Tanapano Prima this decision for taking the sannyas order came to me in the summer of 2013 uh, when uh, one of my colleagues raised the question in a friendly, challenging way. And I felt inside uh, a kind of resonation, if you like, that yes, this is the, the next step to take. As one decides to take sannyas, one decides for oneself uh, to ask one or another already existing sannyasi to give sannyas. I came always back to the thought it should be Satchinandana Swami because I've had some very personal relation, I would say, with him uh, going all the way back to practically the beginning of my 
life in the practice of bhakti yoga. When I first met Krishna Chaitanya Swami, it was in Heidelberg. At that time I was cleaning the temple floor and he came in and I immediately involved him in uh, the philosophy of cleaning a floor. And I told him, um, see, by cleaning the temple floor, you are actually mystically cleaning your own heart. And he liked it and we immediately bought it. I looked very much forward to be uh, uh, there for the ceremony. There were many devotees who came especially for this event. Uh, many of my own students came. Uh, they considered it uh, also a significant moment in their own lives. This is a date I cannot miss. Even if I uh, die, they will have to carry me a dead to the ceremony. I need to be there somehow. <laughs> but then I, I couldn't come. I developed a very severe case of shingles, which was so bad that even the hospitals couldn't cure it any longer. Initially, I, I thought, why is this happening? Is this an indication that I'm not ready yet? Or and the doctors all advised me it is simply not possible. It was as if there was an iron chain around my neck. Uh, then I spoke with Sachinan and Swami on the phone and uh, he said something that uh, I very much appreciated. He said that whenever something really important is about to take place, then so many obstacles come before you. And these obstacles are a confirmation that indeed this is something important. And so at that point I took heart, I took courage and understood, yes, uh, these are obstacles, but th we can overcome them. The external mm, things like me being there, mm, our friendship, uh, celebrating, all these things fell away. We try to see things that happen to us as ultimately the Lord's arrangement. The substance is that He is giving blessings on behalf of uh, our Guru, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. I felt by concentrating on the essence uh, that the sannyas ceremony was fully intact. Mm, the mantra was there and our mutual understanding that since we are both disciples of Srila Prabhupada, we, take, uh, we have taken this step in the service of Him only. Uh, with the arrangement that was made, uh, as it happened, it was Chandramali Swami who did the formalities absolutely with all of his heart and also with understanding that he is, again, representing Satchinandan Swami, then we felt uh, the full connection was there. Then I decided I will address our Maharaj and the uh, whole group uh, in a magical way through the internet <laughs> and came on the evening to a broadcast. Uh, I felt like, yes, this is the right thing at the right time in the right place.
the example that he is giving by his taking sannyas is that one can engage everything in God's service. One is, in his case, it's his university education. Uh, the uh, Krishna consciousness movement has very much profited from his activities at the university because he also taught uh, Krishna consciousness in an academic way. For many, when they take sannyas in, in this movement, Sannyas provides them a platform from, from which they can publicly start interacting as a uh, much more prominent spiritual leader than they were before. One of the main duties of the sannyasi is to travel. That way he doesn't become so much, what we say, attached to one particular situation in life or a set of people in life. And that way he remains free to simply focus his attention on giving spiritual knowledge to people in general and uh, worshiping the Lord exclusively. So in our tradition, sannyas doesn't mean giving up everything, but it means giving up using things for my pleasure and just using it for the pleasure of Guru and Krishna. The dress is not sannyas, but the attitude of service to Krishna is. The inner purpose is to, to withdraw all his loving propensities from everywhere and just offer them to Krishna. Krishna is that most wonderful, uh, most uh, charming, most um, supportive, most protective person. If, if you add up all the good qualities that you experience in other people, I would say like that, this is how I feel is Krishna. Krishna now, after this vow, will start dealing with him in another way. And that is the most exciting aspect of all. A kind of final step toward a new beginning. It is uh, like opening a door to the spiritual dimension and then closing it behind it and never returning uh, to the old world. Yeah. Rajana Priyo Priyakaroo